Manum. Good job. Wow. Oh, you guess which one? This is the hammerhead for sure. Can we give everyone work on this event a round of Today and I am low back <laughs> to be here tonight with you guys. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Ruth and everyone who is watching. Good evening to you and good morning to me. <laughs> oh, you got the mopers. Hello guys, welcome to another week in the life of Mrs. Bonifacio. <laughs> Miss RPB is so busy this Christmas season. I think boy ko na to in Christmas season. Ha? Iniisip ko lagi, ah, this is going to be the most relaxed Christmas ever. And then hindi nang <laughs> For some reason, I just find ways of being busy. Actually, I just finished talking to Miss Ruth. Miss Ruth is all the way from, I think, from Canada. And she wanted me to encourage some people online. And um, if you want to watch that talk where I shared my testimony, like some bits and parts of my story, the link is going to be in the de description box. Now, I'm going to move on to do the other parts of my life. <laughs> as a mom, as an entrep and all that. And as somebody who needs manicure pedicure. <laughs> And ito na ang aking posh at home. At magpapagawa muna ako ng nails because my nails are like so old. What did you say? Mascara. I like the dog. De de. Can you choose my nail polish, Manu? Oh, I want pink. You want pink? Why pink? Because I love it for you. Thank you. Okay, oh, <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to work out. Here's my chin. Lang araw na ako hindi na kapag workout because of schedule. Diyan tama da ko ngayon kasi mula nulan pa. But I have to because it's good for my body. Let us begin with. Even after one year of working out, recently ko lang yun natutunan. So wag kayong mawala na pag sa Kering kering nito. Kaya nyo to guys. Basta, just keep showing up. I'm done guys. See, I burned 189 calories according to my watch. And that was like average heart rate of 126 beats per minute and i wasn't even running i wasn't even like jumping or anything guys i always advocate for this if you are like in that season or like in that mood or or you have that desire to like jump start your fitness you don't have to start high intensity start slow okay so you get encouraged because you're not hingal na hingal. Pag ginang hingal na hingal ka na kasi, obvious na obvious yung lack of strength mo. So build it slowly. So when you're there na and you do high impact stuff, you're just gonna be amazed at that you can actually do it. Hi guys! It's another day and I woke up a bit late because I kept waking up in my sleep. And that's because I it's already crunch time. Ito na yung week kung kailan. Kailangan ko maset up yung bazaar, the booth. Because guys, sobrang late na kami. Super late na ako. Actually, yun yung tinatanong ko sa sarili ko. For every time I woke up in the middle of my sleep from last night till this morning, bakit ko ba ito ginagawa? Bakit ba ako nasa stress sa business? I'm trying out the business 
because I just feel like it. I think I'm very entrepreneurial by nature. I think my mom's that way too. And I just want to try my hand at it. And I was trying to understand bakit nga ba. I did say that I don't want to be as big as Uniqlo. And to some that might sound like weird. Like you're gonna have a business. Hindi mo malang ego goal na lumaki ng ganon. And I'm like there are very different values that we hold in our hearts. And they all cost something. And for me, I was trying to figure it out yesterday that I would rather homeschool my kids than to have something as big as Uniqlo. Parang, yeah, sure. I mean, it would be fun to have like such a huge global brand, successful and all that. But also at the same time, like I know the costs it takes to have that big of a brand. I'm very much okay with a simple life. I had to like get to the bottom of that para maintindihan ko yung sarili ko tsaka anong level of anxiety yung papayag ako para sa sarili ko when it comes to this business, di ba? I feel like it's a good exercise also because na-force niya akong i-articulate kung bakit ko ba gusto mag-business. And simply, I happen to love product development. I love creating. I like to make things. And I have a lot of ideas. I can be quite of a visionary. So kinda, but bako nagbi business kasi gusto ko yun. Gusto ko yung part na yun ng pagbi business. But then there's also the reality of like, din na ko ganung kayaman. So hindi, hindi ko pa rin ng pera sa hobby ko of creating. So I hope it works. I'm gonna finalize my logo today, facilitate the sampling of some materials and products today. I have a photo shoot in like a few days. So all of that is like in my head right now. Kaya ilang beses ako nagising kagabi sa aking tulog. Dahil naa-anxious na ako na ito yung kailangan gawin. Eh, baka may makalimutan ako. Guys, ganito pala yung business person, no? Ang business owner. Hi, baby! Good morning! So right now, I'm gonna be on my computer doing my work habang nagdadede siya. At habang may sakit din yung isa kong anak. Mommies who are business owners of like small businesses lang naman, no? Grabe lang talaga na through all the stages of my product development, Development. I was going through MRIs and then miscarrying and breastfeeding and my kids getting sick. Yung mga nanay, iba rin eh. <laughs> The best time mga nanay. Anyway, back to work. I'll chica later. Good morning. I love you. <laughs> Mama's just gonna drink her juice because she's hungry. Can you get me the scissors? Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Panadero gang, guys. You don't know what's inside. Ooh! That's chocolate, but look at what it has. Marshmallow! Oh, what are these? Matcha. Mini choco madlin and mini lemon. Alright. So if we get this one. <gasps> Manu always likes stuff that has sprinkles. This is from Panadero. He always likes things like this. What do you feel, Philip? You know, whenever I breathe through my nose and my mouth, it's choking me and coughing. So like every time you breathe, you feel like you're expelling cough, right? That's how it feels. Papa will bring it to the hospital, okay? Which one? Balloon. Okay. I set them up. Very good. Say bye to them, Manu. Yeah, bye. Bye, Philip. Bye. Let us update us, okay? Bye. Bye. Are you taking my photo? Yep. Seaweed. Seaweed. Okay. Let me show them what you took of me. There is Mama's photo. All right, guys. It's already almost night time. Wala pa rin sila, Philip. He's just getting a blood test. The findings are. It's been so tiring for me because they left in the afternoon and he fell asleep. 
And while he was asleep, I tried to finish all of my computer work and realized that one document was missing. Na kailangan ng supplier. Kaya yung supplier ko hindi makastart sa pagsupply ng products na. One document. The one document. Yes, that was the most frustrating part of today. We rushed this product like we did everything that we could. Like we lost sleep over it and all that. And it fails not in those crucial moments, but in this one where there's one piece of document na kailangan ng supplier na hindi na send ng assistant ko, and it got me really, really, really upset today, and it made me want to give up doing this. Ah, uh, buti na lang. Sabi ng printer, yung supplier ko, they would be out to the proofs in like two days and then all copies if proof is approved from the time that i approve it copies will be out in like eight days on the other hand three times na nagpupu yung anak ko dito so i feel like he has like gastroenteritis like while philip naman is diagnosed with mild pneumonia yan ang kanyang diagnosis here's his photo here poor guy look at that in ECG pa siya. Because there is something inconclusive about his ECG that they need to get his blood test. After that, they're gonna go home na. So, siguro on their way home na sila. That's why pala he was saying last night na he couldn't breathe properly and that it felt like something was blocking in the middle of his chest. And then, Manu sent this to his kuya. Kuya, how are you? He said that earlier because he saw Philip had like stuff strapped onto his chest. Yeah. Yeah. If if you'll be fine, you'll be cured again, but you'll not be sick again. Guys, so Philip is there sleeping. Medjo hit up because the diagnosis is pneumonia. My husband and I are like taking turns. Kung sino yung um to stay awake to see if he's still okay, breathing well. So it's my shift. <laughs> it's already. And then, siguro pag di ko na kaya, I'll ask my husband to wake up and like watch over him. He's gonna have to wake up anyway at like 5 to do his inhaler thing. Hindi na rin kami nag-isolate because actually we think that Manu, the smaller one, got it before Philip because he was kind of like runny nose coffee for a period of time before it transferred to Philip. We're sticking zero together, Muna. I shake my cup. Looks painful because because my tongue looks painful when I. So anyway, I did TikTok lang ako sa tabi ni Philip para I can say wait. Just like that, we are on the road. Last minute decisions for today. I am going to a talk that I was invited to. It's actually about mental health. The traffic says that I'll be there at 2.16. The thing starts at 2. So I hope that I still make it in such a way that, you know, I could uh, still catch something because this is really beneficial for me. <laughs> Buy at the grocery, pero gutom na mi. Hi na! Thank you! Done with our grocery! So, naghihintay ako. So, 
kotchet. Ngayon ko lang na feel na inaantok na pala ako. Parang I was moving on adrenaline the entire time. And parang ngayon naalala ng katawan ko na, Hey, wala pang masyadong tulog kagabi. <laughs> Feeling ko ang sap ng tulog ko tonight. Which is good because good sleep is good. And that's kind of one of the things that I got reminded about today when I attended the talk. Because it was like mostly, parang it was big on sleep. So, kwento ko yun sa inyo mamaya. Does it still pain you to drink water or no? Hey guys! So, I'm finally about to go to bed. Which is something that I have been thinking about ever since I woke up. Kasi nga, puwet-puwetan kami. Good news naman, Philip, when we got home, Philip is feeling a little better. Well, so much better. He breathes normally now. And he says that this chest doesn't hurt as much anymore. So, yay! I feel more calm about that. Siyempre, di ba pag nanay? Like, last night talaga, niyak na lang ako thinking na, Lord, he cannot have his last breath tonight, okay? No, cannot be. Siyempre, I mean, like, wala namang sinabing ganun yung doktor. Pero ikaw lang, as a mom, siguro hindi mo lang mapigilan na maisip yung mga pwedeng mangyari. But, I was trying to watch out for his rapid heartbeat, rising and falling of the chest. So, ano nga bang tawag? wag doon sa respiratory rate ba ganyan so i was checking his nails if like they were getting blue and all i think yung mga nanay nagiging doktor sila after maka 20 years in motherhood i'm just so happy that he's okay and that i even got to attend like that was so fast i got to attend a talk earlier kanina ko lang na realize na kung yung mga katawan natin muscles at saka yung mga buto at all ay tumatanda pati din ang ating brain kaya nga may dementia I mean, I've always known about dementia, but I never thought that dementia is like the manifestation of the aging, but not only the aging, but also the loss of health in our brain. O, oh, diba? Meron na kayong masterclass dito ng brain health. Yan kasi yung thing talaga ngayon, yung brain health, na tayo lahat, sobra tayong focus sa katawan. Diba? Gym tayo, nag-exercise tayo kasi kailangan kumakain tayo ng tama, ganyan. But, we don't really think of how do we keep our brains healthy for the long run. So, ang dami-dami pa talaga niya shenare doon kanina na how I wish naalala ko lahat. Meron na ako mga notes dito. Binabalik-balikan ko nga. Pero, yun, isa pang na Alala ko lang din at na-remind na ako na dati ko pang alam. Pero mas intindihan ko rin kung bakit. Is, sleep is important. And why is it important? Because this is our the, the way of our brains. Okay, so we know that the body recovers when we're asleep. But do you know what the brain does when we're asleep? Whatever information we had for the day, it processes it while we're sleeping. So when we lose the sleep that we have for the night, we are also unable to process all the information that went on yesterday. Next day, panibago ka na namang information. Yun na yung ipoprocess ng mind mo pag natulog ka sa night na yun. So every time you lose sleep, a night sleep, no? You also fail to process the day before very well in your system. And so, naisip ko nga kanina, is this why we have hang-ups? Because like, lalo na if you have a sleep, disorder you have so much to process that you were never able to and it's like all getting just stuck in your head and the result is like you you also feel stuck so anyway guys i'm gonna go up i'm gonna get ready for bed and uh, let's see what tomorrow holds but today i'm just so grateful that everyone in our family is still healthy and alive i guess when you get older you also get simpler in your prayers and in your gratitude not in the sense that you know being alive is simple but that it just beca becomes so clear and focused for you when you get older na alam mo ito lang pala talaga yung mga bagay na dapat na importante sa akin all right guys i need to fix that that's already my bazaar set that I got from yeah. IKEA. So look, so I got cute hangers. Yeah, maganda pang bazaar. Foldable chair. Then you'll see the rest of the set in just a few hours. We're gonna try to make this today. I hope kaya ako mag-isa. Taka bago dumating yung mga ibang meeting ko sa buhay. Time starts now, huh? Yes, thank you, Manu. Good job. Good job with what you're... Wow! Nice! Show you what it's all about. Oh, 
open for business. Yes! Hey everybody, welcome to my very awesome voice. So I think we're gonna pick up from where we left off. Nung isang araw, I was at the dentist. I went to a dinner and I already felt kind of like pagurin or like sleepy ganon. But then it started to feel bad at night because before sleeping I was like coughing, dry cough. This is my back drip ako, right? Even until now. Hirap nga magsalita. And then, okay pa. Tapos bigla akong may message ng isang kakilala ko na nakita ko ng isang araw na sabi niya, by the way, may COVID kami. Check mo lang, baka may COVID ka. So parang ako, oh my gosh, na-COVID pa talaga ako. Test, test naman ako hapon. Rapid test, wala, zero. And then, napalalim na napalalim yung gabi at yung araw kahapon. Yun na, sumasakit na bodily pains. Tapos hanggang this morning, sobrang, kaya nga hindi ako makapag-vlog. Kasi, ang sakit na ng ulo ko guys, as in sobrang sakit. Natitiis ko usually lahat, pero kanina ganap na ako ng gamot, ganun. And then, parang nawala. Nakatulog ako. Then, nawala. I got over the peak. Hopefully. I still feel a little bit not well. Medyo decided na ako in my heart na COVID siya kahapon. Kahit nagtetest ako ng negative. Kasi nga, that's how it felt like. But then, nung ito, parang nawala siya. My sister-in-law, who's like a doctor, also said that it might be RSV because that's what my husband got. That's what Philip got. Pneumonia. And then also, Manu. Iyabang pa ng lola nyo kasi sabi ko pa sa asawa ko alam mo ikaw dapat diligent ka sa mga supplements kasi tingnan mo ko hindi ako tinatamaan lakas-lakas ko bla 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 yun yung sinasabi ko sa kanya kahapon <laughs> last famous words eto na nagkasakit ako ang dami kong na-cancel meron pa akong bazaar this weekend na hindi ko mapupuntahan hopefully I get well enough so at least man lang yung Sunday mapuntahan ko so much better today. Yay! At least I can go to my booth to check it before it opens today. So we're on our way to Okada para lang ma-set up ko ng maayos yung mga bagay-bagay. We'll see how it looks like when we get there. Thanks to my hubby for doing it all yesterday from pastor to bazarista. <laughs> So, talaga lahat nag-set up kahapon kasi hindi na kaya ng lola niyo. Sobrang sakit ng katawan ko kahapon. But today, the pain is gone. I still have a little bit of hoarseness in my voice. But the sore throat also is gone. Development dito sa Bonifacio household. Rinalda is down. She seems to be sick. So also, Joseph kinda feels sick. I don't know if he's just tired. Malalaman natin bukas. So tingnan natin kung hawaan ko pa rin ba sila ng sakit ko. Pero sa ngayon, maguhugas muna tayo ng pinggan. <laughs> Ganyan. Ganyan karami na yung nakatam nakatambak dyan. Kasi it's already past 12 and I just finished doing stuff. Where do we go? From here. Mm -hmm. na, 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 na. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I never left you. Hey guys! So I just finished editing a TikTok and posting a TikTok video. Philip is having his brunch and we are getting something new today. Sobrang laki niya. So medyo hindi ko alam kung saan ko siya ilalagay but let's see. Here it is! What's it for? Spaceship pala ito eh! Spaceship eh! Paano mo siya magagamit na hindi ka tatulunan ni Manu? Okay guys, nagsasalita pala itong chair na ito. Okay. Welcome to use our intelligence in such chair. Ha? May pa-ilaw? Wah! 
Ayan yung parang pang ano, pang adjust adjust. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool though. That you get to fully recline. You can actually sleep on that, yeah? I turn this on here, ganon. Philip. Where's the red button? Whoa! My gosh. This feels so good. The great white shark. Oh, you guess which one? This is the hammerhead for sure. This is the whale shark. What is that? Yes. Oh no, if my sakit siya, I can't have the shoot tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, family update. Philip is well. Manu is not. He's the last to get hit in this house. Wawa naman. Sakit daw ng katawan niya. So he's been crying. Nag-nap tapos nag-cry. So now he's playing stuff on his iPad. On my iPad. Diba ganun naman tayo nung mga bata tayo pag may sakit? TV time. <laughs> three, three months pa. For what? That's what I bought her. And the Joey is talking. No. Oh, you see that? That's called a crossover. Look, look. What do I do? Watch it in my back. <laughs> hey guys, we're going to watch Home Alone as like a Christmas movie. And Manu, can you tell everyone? Are you feeling better? Yeah. Kanina, ang hirap niya, guys, eh. Hopefully, eto na yun, no? Na bukas, wala na siyang lagnat. Pinainom na namin siya ng gamot. Right now, we're gonna have, like, a Christmas movie. Kasi hindi kami nakapagtayo ng Christmas decoration. I'll do it, do it pala tomorrow. Kasi Thursday is the shoot month. Home Alone! Tong, to, tong, 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 home alone. We are in the car. I'm already made up for our talk today. So, dami ko nang ginawa. Nag-set up ng booth. Tapos nagtahi ng damit kasi hindi na siya kasha sa akin. And now, we are off to SMX. Okay, so we're gonna go to SMX. And dala namin yung dalawang bata because Rinelda is down. She's sick again. So, we're gonna have them with us. And we're gonna do our talk. And then we'll see what happens afterwards. I've had two cups of coffee to power me through the day. Because when you talk about spirituality, Jesus, you must be. Guys, we are like meeting room. Meeting room. Like, like 40 people. Oh, eh, parang ano to, eh, good 4,000s. Ano ba yan? Yan lang yung comment namin, Erica. Pag sinabi yung breakout, bakit ang dami dami pa rin ng breakout? Okay, kala ko. Huwag ka mag-breakout dito, eh, no? Thank you, sister buddy. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, ako pa dito. Ako na muna. Hi, thank you so much for having us here. Uh, it's a joy to be back. How many of you are glad to be back face to face again with this The Feast Learning Conference? It is so inspiring. Can we give everyone working on this event a round of applause, please? Such an excellent team. Yeah. So excellent. God bless you guys. Good morning, everybody. It's been the longest week of our lives, meaning it has gone over a week. And for a reason, um, everybody got sick in the house and habang nagtatayo ng business ang lola nyo, nagkumit pa sa isang talk. Not that, you know, I regret it or anything. I, ha I really had fun, so much fun. It was just really, really busy yesterday. And I think I ought to end this vlog already. I had been postponing putting up our Christmas decor kasi, well, it wasn't really something I wanted to happen. I didn't want to postpone it. If anything, I want it done out of the way. But so many things happened, including nagkasakit yung mga anak ko. And you know, honestly, it's really bumming me out na ano ba to nung pecha na wala pa kami Christmas decor. Nakakailang araw na ako nung pagsasabi na this is the night that we're gonna put up our tree and all that. 
And so far, ayun pa lang siya. Dalawang kalbong misplaced na puno sa living area namin. But you know what? The strangest thing is that my husband said to me yesterday, alam mo, feel na feel na feel ko yung Pasko. Ito yung Pasko na naramdaman daw niya. If you guys don't know yet, he actually resigned this year, so he hasn't been working. And we we did agree, naman, uh, for a certain period of time, he would just just take the time to rest because you know our family badly needed it. And he did say that for the first time in like many many years, he actually feels Christmas like he's such in a Christmas spirit right now. And to think, as like, ganda nula. Wala nga akong dekorasyon. Wala akong anything that symbolizes Christmas here except for the random trees nga na hindi ko matapos-tapos dyan. And yet, this is when my husband feels the most Christmassy in like years. And so, you know, siguro dun ko na lang gustong magtapos. Life happens. Nagkakasakit ang mga tao. Nagkakaproblema. Nagkakaroon ng business mishaps and all that. May talking about myself. <laughs> Pero tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Kaya pala ganun yung kanta, no? Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Because, you know, I mean, I, I've been trying to bring Christmas in our home. But I haven't been successful due to a lot of things I couldn't control. Guys, kamusta na ang inyong mga decoration? Kamusta na ang inyong mga buhay ngayong Pasko? Please, just share with me in the comment section below. And thank you for watching this vlog. I hope that somehow I was able to accompany you in one of the like busiest seasons of life or in a year. Yeah, please subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on the notification bell para alam niyo pag may bago sa akin kung gusto niyo lang naman. And also bili kayo sa shop ko. <laughs> Bye guys.